Hey guys, welcome to the second episode of uh, Parametrics and today we're going to go back to our point for the second time and um, as you can see here I've al already have my point my point set with a motion battery and as, as, as we've seen last time we can simply move it around easily now let's assume you want to make uh, the same the same point move on uh, on both axes so one thing you can do is for example add in this one here connect there with the shift key now control C control control V the sliders to keep them in independent and as you can see as you can see here instead of the the same the same point moving on two axes it actually creates two different points so how can you solve this one solution is to simply copy and paste this this letter here change the ge the geometry to the next one and let's just disconnect these two here and now we can see that the second point is influenced by the first one so if we just hide this command here with control Q we can now change this last motions point on both on both axes uh, making a sort of a, a a composed motion at least on two axes and you can and, and you can you can always play play around change the uh, these these axes now let's assume you want to do an array we can just go in here write in linear linear array for a simple for a simple array and now we just need to join in this geometry input into the geometry input of the linear uh, battery linear ray battery and now we have these two more which are the di direction and the count as you can see here we all we already have a default setting for uh, this battery but now if we if, if we want to change these values all we need to do and I'm gonna copy these two batteries here you can just copy these put them in and now as as you can see on the y on the y axis you can uh, make the the array go in said direction and now you can also change the distance be between the points uh, now let's assume that you want to change the number of points that are acting on your your array I'm gonna pick this number slider here, and then by connecting it now, I not only can change their their distance, but also the number the number of points I want to array. Of course, I can always make this independent, just like that. Okay. And uh, moving on, if you want to try and connect these to make. Uh, it's make a sort of uh, connected path. What you can do here is simply write in polyline, like so. And now we have this input for ver for vertices. We can just pick up on this geometry output, place it place it in there, and now you have this finished uh, line which join which which joins in all the points. And you can simply move these these around and get whichever whichever values you want. Okay guys, hope you liked that that video. Don't don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope to see you here next time.